Yeah. But for, like, well, Kill Confirmed, what they should have done, and now MW3 or Infinity Ward's not going to do this because they don't listen, but what they should make it is where in order to gill your get your kill streak or even the kill that counts toward, you have you have to go get your tag. Yeah, and, like, better. you know, you, you can say, yeah. well, your teammate can just take it. Well, you shouldn't be sitting across the map, you know, with a Type 95 or whatever the overpowered gun is going to be. And you should get your, your kills and everything that way, and it would encourage more people to uh, to run well, and, and not yeah, and not just sit in the back. Oh, I gotta worry about my KD because that was yeah, like, that's st- the thing with Kill Confirm. Like when I started, like when I played Kill Confirm and then went back to Domination. Like after I killed the person, I was used to like running up to grab the tags. I would run up and I'm like, fuck, there's no tags. And then I'd still keep doing it, like, like subconsciously thinking I'm playing, like, kill confirm. <clears throat> like, kill confirm. So that might help a lot because people might be getting confused with the game. Type. I don't know, that was just me, but I'm yeah. kind of... And then well, also another was, game type that I would like to see come back is War from uh, World at War. Yes, dude. Oh my God. That, was, that was pretty fun. That was pretty fun. That was so, that, oh, I that's right, that triple collateral. I'm really, never yeah, and that. Had, me personally. Uh, just, um teams you know because you really because honestly that game type it kind of it catered to like all kinds of players like you could have your objective players because you got to go cap the things but you could also win by getting kills and that's where your people who camp or go for kill whoring you know that's where they come in uh handy and you know it just meshes all the game types or game styles that you could play together and that would definitely bring up be a fun sort of game type to come back. Now the uh the the wager matches from um Black Ops those were those I mean what'd y'all think about them? I thought they were okay. I thought they were fun. Yeah. Yeah they, they some of them were fun but then See, like I didn't like how you had you couldn't be in a party yeah. if you went into like pro gambler. Yeah. Then have- yeah, that was uh, it was kind of dumb, but See, the fun part was. I think I think the uh, the leveling up system in that game where like you had COD points was kind of dumb. So like mm-hmm. the wager matches, like maybe just put them in like uh, a different playlist or something where they give you some XP, but it's just something else fun to do or whatever. Like that and, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but I don't think there should be the COD points just because. You know, I, I actually liked in MW2 and, like, even COD4 and all that stuff when, like, you had to get the 250 headshots to get whatever, gold or fall camo. And it just felt felt more rewarding that, like, mm-hmm. dude, I'm a beast. I just got 250 headshots, man. Look at this. I got fall camo for it, and you don't. And Black Ops, you just, oh, well, you can just buy whatever camo you want. That was cool. That was, to be dead honest. I, that was, like, yeah, that just, was... Uh. I mean, yeah, you know... But I actually like, and like all the attachments too. Like if you just bought the gun, you had everything for it. I actually mm-hmm. like using the gun and getting a feel for it and like getting used to it. Yeah. And getting and unlocking all the attachments and all the camps. Like, like for Black Ops, you got a submachine gun. Automatically, everyone unlocks rapid fire. Yeah, like I, I don't like that, and because it makes you. I mean, you you just like get the attachment and. You don't have to earn it. I mean, yeah, you don't. Yeah, but. you don't earn anything really. You just play the game and you have everything unlocked more or less. Yeah. So I think yeah. they should do away with that. I mean, what I th- yeah, what I think I, they should make uh, uh, single shot guns not have rapid fire. Yeah. Like the yeah. MK. They should. FAO. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Oh, and one other thing. Uh, I mean, if y'all want to go back to that, we can. But, uh. I'm just thinking about this now. They should definitely have in Black Ops 2. I don't know how they did it in MW3, but where like if you're in game chat and I kill you and I hear you like rage at, <laughs> oh yeah, that's <laughs> just awesome. Dude. That, that has so that is that. hysterical. You kill you know, they did. They definitely did that to like start oh, more shit talking. It, it's so funny because like in, in MW3 you kill somebody. Here. And then what all the? of a sudden, freaking. Oh, here is what the hell did he yeah. get me? Oh, you hear. Oh, you faggot! You fa- you know it's just it's <laughs> funny just to hear that because you like just beast of people. Douchebags. <laughs> little kid. So uh, you know that's that's always fun. To yeah. Do. I mean I, that's that's what I have. Uh, that's pretty much it. What I have on this list. Did anything else y'all want to add or? 
Mm. I honestly don't think there should be any tri shot weapons. Yeah, I don't like Cause the that's, triple shot weapons. Oh. Cause you just pull the trigger like once or twice and the guy's dead. I don't know, I should, should do except for the M16, you know. That's yeah. uh, that's always been yeah. in the game. It's it's a great gun. They should yeah, make it true. to where like the M16 and M33, where you know it's not the greatest, but you know you have to use it to get used to it yeah. in order for it to be good or whatever. Yeah. And yeah. oh, also on the weapons, they should definitely bring back like the ballistic knife or the uh, crossbow, just fun weapon. Make the cr they should make the crossbow have more ammo on it, and it, or like a sniper scope, because it was really fun, like in the story mode, and then you got it online, and you couldn't have an attachment for it. But yo, with the equipment, I like the equipment how you could have like three things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 And seven, two. yeah. The equipment, like, yeah, where you have your lethal grenade, your what was uh non-lethal tactical yeah and then yeah your like, the special your special ones yeah yeah, yeah. like claymore or whatnot yeah they should definitely uh bring that sort of system i guess you'd call it back but uh i mean anything else i mean I what i like was it what i like was warlord though when you got it pro you got another tomahawk or another grenade and yeah like, that was kind of cool. that, that was, was pretty, that was pretty great yeah, cause like that that's cool, cause like you know what I'm saying, like go for like montage or something. Like Grizz put in like uh, defib, how he threw those two spawner hawks, and he yeah. like he got both. Yeah. Like that was fucking cool, dude. Yeah, something I never seen before. Yeah. So I don't know. I think we're pretty much done. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Anybody else? Anything? No. No. All right. Well, <laughs> this is like an hour long, so we'll have to split it into a couple videos. You know, yeah. but uh. Hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, leave a like, comment, and uh, you know, subscribe and everything. And if y'all actually got this far into the video, watched all probably four or five ish of them. Uh, you know, put down in the comments what y'all would like to see in Black Ops Two. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's Boy Six fan. This has been Astro Zag. This has been Killer. And this is Pure Reverts. We're out. Peace. Later. Peace. See ya.